guys, it's Saturday night. Did my hair just pop out of place after I pulverized it with spray? Oh well. Let's have a relaxing evening tonight and yes, I'm eating again. Spaghetti, uh, some Italian sausage, topped with grated parmesan. And it's the store-bought Brego spaghetti sauce. Mm. Isn't that a shame how just one little odd spaghetti sauce can ruin your whole meal. And just like with my macaroni and cheese, I like to put uh, sesame seeds in for color, contrast, and crunch. So, we've been watching the best movies lately on streaming video services. Christmas with Bing Crosby we watched either Netflix or um, Prime Video but wonder it's a wonderful life we watched yesterday oh my goodness and then I was crying I'm curious is there a colorized version of white of It's a Wonderful Life. I noticed my husband fell asleep for a minute or two and I wonder if it's because it was black and white. And tonight, we're going to watch Bells of St. Mary's. I'll probably cry over that one. And um, maybe it was because our family was Catholic. And that was a big Catholic movie, I think, with the nuns and the priest. Was it Father O'Malley? Probably crying. And uh, the, uh, the other thing that we've been doing to kind of have a holiday on uh, TV at night is we're ju we just go each evening, we go to look to see what Christmas programming is f uh, later that evening on the main NBC, ABC, or CBS channels. And uh, we've been kind of happy with that. Appreciate more so the one hour uh, Christmas shows. It's something we watch right before we doze off for bed at night. And one hour is just about right. Um, and of all things,
things. This is kind of interesting. We've been watching Bing Crosby movies, and on our Western cable channel from our, uh, we have Dish TV, um, they had Bing Crosby and Anne Margaret in a Western movie, and I had seen it before, but are all the movie channels pushing Bing Crosby for the holidays? But uh, it was entertaining. Um, I probably normally would not have watched a, a Western, but because of Anne Margaret and Bing Crosby, if I can find the name of that movie, I'll list it in the show, show more description box below. Um, uh, I think I kind of missed the old time fashion Christmas specials from the 60s or 70s. I think Dane Martin, Andy Williams would have a Christmas show. I think even Elvis. Did he have a Christmas show when he was upset about it because the colonel wanted him to do traditional Christmas skits with with Christmas songs and it may have been something else. Was that the 68 comeback special? Can't recall. Uh, but of course on the a movie uh, checklist um, and this is where it gets kind of iffy uh, my husband um, not so much crazy about like Christmas story and Christmas vacation oh my goodness do you know my whole life never knew about that Christmas vacation or Christmas movie with Chevy Chase until you guys remember Mark and Brian on the radio they were local here at KL KLOS in the uh, mornings oh they were fun um then they retired and then I was just lost for my talk show uh, that I had found later in life as an adult. But all through my life, uh, uh, radio talk shows, you can call me a radio talk show junkie. Uh, I did a lot of commuting to and from work. Uh, one time um, I worked in Santa Barbara and lived in uh, Simi Valley. That was quite a commute. And then we l moved a little closer to in Ventura County, a little closer, uh, but it was still a commute. But thank goodness for all the late night and uh, like 24 seven, you could find a good uh, talk show, radio, talk show and at night it seemed to pick up bigger and better stations from further away and anything you wanted from um, anything uh, remember Art Bell what was his show called uh, he'd come on at night That was another show I found out about as an adult and couldn't believe there was a show like that on the radio that so many people knew about it and I had no clue. Um, he may have been one of the very first kind of to really um, have the conversation about UFOs. Uh, but then again, he was out there in Pahrump, Nevada. And is that where area 51 is somewhere out there in Nevada? And he would have um, guests on that uh, 
so much I enjoyed because they would just give you the information or the findings and then leave us with that and say, so what does that tell us? What does that tell us? And as much as I'm interested in uh, UFO information, not crazy about that movie that came out, Encounters of the Third Kind, or the one with Richard Dreyfuss, Third en Encounters, Encounters of the Third Kind, or Close Encounters. Let me write this down. Um, the uh, uh, movie. Um, not so much interested in um, uh, third or close encounters. I want to find out what that movie is. And uh, what was the other thing I was going to link below? My Dollar Tree pen back when they were still a dollar. And I forgot I purchased this and I saw it in my, my drawer in the other room a while back and got mad at myself thinking I had taken a pen from a doctor's office uh, because I guess people were taking pens right and left and they started taping things onto the pens that belonged to them. So it would be an obvious uh, no-brainer not to stick the pen in your pocket or in your purse, it belonged to them. Okay, so we're gonna uh, link that. Um, I was gonna link something else. Uh, so, um, oh, the other thing I wanted to mention, uh, Hallmark came out with two channels, like the Hallmark Channel and the Hallmark Movie Channel. But if you don't have TV and all you have is Netflix, Hulu, maybe even Tubi and uh, the other ones, Tubi, Roku, there's one that starts with a P. They are streaming uh, videos, services, but you have to watch commercials um, on now, we do have the Hallmark Movie Channel, but you have to watch commercials if you watch them on your TV channel. I think. I'm, I might be overthinking this again, as usual. But you can still Google, I mean, search on your uh, streaming video. Hallmark Movies, Hallmark Christian Christmas, Hallmark Christmas movies, and if you want romantic movies, Harlequin romance movies is also another good search. Um, what else have we been enjoying? Little tips and tricks. Um, Netflix, I think, is the best. Instead of searching for a movie, search of an, for an actor or an actress and then all the mo their movies will come up. Um, and of course, the, um, uh, the 100 best movies of all times, search that on your, uh, your device. Uh, what else? I had my iPad out. I searched for the best movies of all time, like the 50 top Christmas movies. Then, what I do, because I get impatient having to search on the actual Netflix or whatever app I'm using, I'll go on my iPad and I search for Harrison Ford movies, and all his movies will come up. Uh, they have, uh, last month or a couple months ago, I searched all the James Bond movies, and you get all the titles. So... Uh, 
get excited when I do that because I, I think just, you know, to sit there point blank and think, what movie are you going to watch tonight? We do better if we think of our uh, most favorite uh, actors, actresses in the movie. I've done it with Al, Al Pacinko. Yes, I know his pronunciation is Pacino, but we like to say Al Pacinko. Uh, Harrison Ford. Robert De Niro. He's got good movies. Um, Ray Liotta, he just recently died. Was it last year or the year before? Good movie. I love that little movie with Whoopi Goldberg, Ray Liotta, and the young lady. That's a cute little movie. And it seems like recently I've had John Travolta and Christy Alley on my mind movies. I did not enjoy the Look Who's Talking movies, uh, but um, I think I most enjoyed a little bit part that Christy Alley played on, uh, this is so silly, on King of Queens. And um, Carrie, at the time, was selling real estate. Kirstie Alley went to her for her real estate needs. And um, it was around the same time she was losing all that weight on some kind of diet program. You guys remember that? And so uh, Chris Alley in the King of Queens program uh, meets up with Carrie for um, buying property or real estate something because Carrie works for a real estate place and she says, Christy Alley says to Carrie, oh, didn't I tell you, I enjoy my food through others. Because she had lost a lot of weight and she was still watching her calories. She was dieting with a famous diet program. And Carrie said, oh, okay. He said, could you eat that donut? And she said, oh, mm-hmm. And Carrie grabs a donut. She said, no, the one with the sprinkles. So she gets the sprinkles on it. She bites into it and Christy's watching her eat. And she said, oh, thank you. And, uh, but just through the whole show, I realized that when I rewatched that episode, and it's when Doug works for a, a Chinese restaurant, and Carrie didn't know anything about it. It's a pretty c cute uh, episode. With Chrissy Alley, if I can find it, I'll link it below. Um, but other than that, you know, I'll watch Cheers occasionally to look upon uh, Gracie Ellie when she first started. Do you know she uh, initially did a match game show? Uh, contestants come on. I'm pretty sure it's called Match Game. And so I don't know if she was an extra at that time or an actress who wasn't getting any parts or if she was an actual, you know, lay person. And from there she got discovered. But that was her first TV appearance match game. And, uh, So, you can search best movies of all time on your device, best 50 best Christmas movies, and search out your actors. Uh, okay, I already mentioned tonight we're going to watch Bells of St. Mary. Oh, we watched um, Oh my goodness. The Harrison Ford movie where he's the president. We just watched it last night. 
I'll link it below. I'm sorry, Harrison Ford. Oh, Air Force One. Uh, Air Force One. And just can't help it. We, we enjoy Harrison Ford that much. And uh, the other... Fun, Harrison Ford. We might start watching the Indiana Jones uh, series again, but uh, regarding Harrison Ford, now he plays the president. There's an NCIS, NCIS uh, episode. I do believe there's many seasons available, uh, either Netflix or Prime Video, to watch. But we got started watching that just recently simply because of the uh, President Bush on Air Force One was part of the episode uh, plot. And the guy that played the president in the short little trailer was so convincing that it was the real president that we started watching and CIS. And like I said, there's many seasons. And I, again, forgot what does NCIS stand for. Navy something. So. Oh, here's a good Christmas question. Well, actually, two good questions because I think I'm out of the loop. Um, one um, YouTuber or watch has a Christmas TV guide. So I guess we have to keep our eyes open. It's the 8 by 11 size TV guide. Not the small 5 by 7 from back in the day. If they even had the small 5x7 from back in the day. But she had one. Um, I think it goes by the month. And she was privy to all the Christmas shows. So uh, let me know uh, if that's a uh, thing that you can just order by yourself for that month or do you have to be a subscriber to TV Guide and get it all year but as she was going through it I was so appreciative I, I took notes of the upcoming shows um, and what was the other question I had um, this was a few years before COVID, I started noticing this. Remember how you went everywhere and there was Christmas music playing in the malls, in the stores? Is that still a thing? It seems I recall a uh, lawsuit or something because it's a religious holiday. They're promoting religion. Let, let me know if when you guys are out and about, like in Target and came, I was going to say Kmart. I don't think there's any more Kmart, but at the mall, let me know what's going on. Music, no music. Because I do recall the first time when I noticed it, there was no music. No regular, normal store music at all. Nothing completely quiet, and that was that wasn't fun. So, have we covered everything? Oh, if you're an I Love Lucy enthusiast, oh, there is a. Uh, Christmas, a colorized uh, 
I Love Lucy episode. Maybe I can put a link if I find it. Uh, and uh, it came up in my uh, search. And for some reason, it wasn't shown on the I Love Lucy series. And the only way you can see it is a colorized version. everything mm -hmm. this is I'll tell you my little Sesame Street church um, if you are a celebrity chunky as I am uh, the gentleman who passed away from Sesame Street. Okay. Got his name. So they showed old clips of Sesame Street from the 70s or 80s. And it jogged my memory how celebrities would do these little skits like a two or three minute sk skit of either singing or acting with a puppet. I think I recall Smokey Robinson on there. But uh, you can search uh, on YouTube probably celebrities on Sesame Street and see their little contribution. But that's another thing I've been watching. But that's on YouTube. Sesame Street on YouTube, little celebrity clip, clips, and have you guys noticed the three-month free trial subscription to uh, YouTube Premium, which allows us to watch YouTube completely ad-free. Now, that's a good deal. Do you know when that first came on board? It was five bucks a month. Then it was 10 or 11 bucks a month. I think it's like 16 bucks a month. However, the three month free trial is very tempting. I do appreciate that you remind me if you find an ad in the middle of the video to let me know. And if we're forced to like not have any control of that, uh, I might just move all the ads to the front of the video because I think we still have a option to place the ads where we want them. I'll just keep you posted on that, but just a heads up. 